Mexico unless they halted, quote, all illegal immigration coming into the United States. That backlash has been so vocal because Mexico is our third biggest trading partner with more than $1.5 billion of goods crossing the border each day. President heading down there tomorrow, but is this new backup threat of auto tariffs really a better route to take, or would that just hurt U.S. consumers and companies in a different way? Joining me now, my buddy, National Taxpayers Union senior fellow and Forward Strategies President Matty Dupler. Welcome to New York. Good to see you, Guy. All right, so this is a climb down, no question mm -hmm. from the president, mm -hmm. but is it a good climb down? Well, I, think, I guess it depends on what you mean by good. Certainly shutting down the border would have economic consequences that we can't even begin to conceive at this point. And the president heard that from the business community, from Republicans and Democrats in Congress saying this is unworkable. Tariffs, though, as we know, are a whole different ballgame, and they're ones that really do put a lot of pressure on the economy. Remember now, now, this is, what, 2019? We've got a couple months until we really start 2020 in earnest. The president needs to be laser-focused on policy that continues to emphasize the things he's already done for the economy. Deregulation, tax cuts, those have really juiced the economy and have shown returns for average Americans in ways that average Americans haven't been able to experience in quite some time. He needs that kind of momentum going into 2020. Tariffs, of course, create downward pressure and a lot of instability that would muddle that message. And that would affect U.S. consumers, which is part of the issue here. And it's not just the president who's up in 2020. There's senators, there's congressmen that are affected by this. There's, there's implications beyond just the White House. That's too. exactly right. And this is the problem, too, with bringing the border conversation into it. You've got Senate Republicans on the border, senators like John Cornyn in, in Texas, uh, Martha McSally in Arizona. They would have to run in a race where they're not only trying to make sense of the president's uh, challenges to the border, but also on his economic policy. If he does, instead of shutting down the border, uh, put new tariffs into effect, those senators would be in a hard position to defend those kinds yeah, of policies. I think the president's on firm ground saying there's a crisis crisis down there. I think virtually every honest person is now conceding that point. And one thing that he did demand was Congress to act. I think we have an incentive structure that's really screwed up, asylum laws that are creating a magnet, perhaps unintentionally, but that's what's happening. I think it makes sense for him, right, to be going after Congress saying, I can only do so much I've tried. You have to you have to do your and work. To me, that was the point of this threat this week. It was to make to create more leverage in an environment where, frankly, these conversations have stalled. We know that Congress isn't making any kind of uh, effort to solve this problem at the border. So the president this week knew what he could do is he could make a threat that the business community would pay attention to. And I think the hope was that the business community then would put pressure on members of Congress to finally act. Now, the step away from that threat, I don't think that leverage point will really uh, materialize for him, but certainly tariffs, as we've seen over the last better part of the year, uh, get the business community pretty ex uh, pretty excited in a bad way. Yeah, we'll see uh, if there's <laughs> arrows in his quiver that he exactly hasn't right. mentioned yet. Maddie, thanks for stopping yeah, by. Okay, really happen. appreciate Thank it. Thank you. All right, so the president says he's worried about border security, as we just talked about, but some lawmakers think he should be worried about security at his own Mar-a-Lago resort. The secret